Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the quick integration between Jenkins and Nexus. So what we are going to do, we are going to use Docker. So what I've done, I've created a repository for you guys. Uh, what you need to do, simply navigate to this URL, which is mentioned above, and simply clone this repo. So uh, let's start. And uh, I'm going to use the Ubuntu LTS server. So you can use any VM. Either you can use the VirtualBox or your local machine for this. So we need to install Docker and Docker Compose. By using this particular script, which I'm going to show you, you can simply install the Docker. So let me do that. Let me log in into this particular server. And what we are going to do, let me do uh, root. You can also use uh, your normal user with this, but this is a demo, so that's why I just want to do uh, make things uh, you know quickly, so so I don't have to do uh, or type sudo. So uh, let me. Um, what you need to do? Uh, type Google, right, and simply type here uh, Docker script, right. Click this guy, and simply from here you can simply download this particular script by a visual Docker and open this URL for this guy. So if you do ls, uh, this get Docker is going to be available, and we are going to simply run this particular command which is mentioned below. I'm going to close this guy. So what it does, it is going to install uh, the latest version of Docker along with that the latest version of Docker Compose version two, right? So uh, let's finish, and then uh, we are going to do simply clone of this repo. I'm going to do Docker Compose up. So uh, in Docker Compose HTML, you will see that uh, we are going to use uh, two services. One is going to be uh, Nexus, right? And we are going to clone this particular latest uh, Sonata type Nexus 3. And the name of the container is going to be Nexus. We are going to mount this. Uh, uh, I mean, we are going to do the port mapping with the container and host 8081. Along with that, we are going to uh, simply store the uh, data in persistent named volumes, right? So along with that, we are going to use uh, these two environment variables. So uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the uh, admin password, and we are going to do the login with this guy, right? So username is going to be admin and admin password is going to be uh, this uh, admin123. We are going to create custom network definitely by using Docker Compose. It will create a custom network. The name of the network is going to be Nexus Network. We are going to add one flag here, restart on the stop. For instance, if your machine reboots, it's going to simply uh, do the restart just like systemctl enable command do for your service, right? And then we are going to uh, take the latest version of Jenkins LTS. The name of that particular controller is going to be LTS. I have commented this guy. So uh, currently we don't need this port mapping, right? So it is required for slave uh, I've in my previous videos. So anyway, we are going to do the port mapping 8080, and we are going to use these uh, environment variable uh, in order to access, and we are going to access um, Nexus internally, right, uh, by this name, and uh, it is going to automatically resolve to this uh, IP address because uh, the if you use the custom Docker network, the automatic DNS resolution is going to be happen. So you can call that particular service with the name of that particular uh, service, right? And we are going to uh, simply mount this on this name volume, so our data is going to be persisted. Right, and we are going to use definitely the same network for uh, intercommunication between containers. This restart is the same. If your machine reboots, it's going to restart that time. So these are the two persistent volumes, and this is the network, right? And hopefully everything is uh, available. So what we are going to do now, we are going to simply move this guy. I mean, simply clone this guy to this machine. So if I do git clone, right, and uh, let me do clone this. I'm going to clone this guy. I'm going to cd into that particular directory, and I'm going to run that particular command, which I've already shown. In my readme md so scroll it down so you, what you need to do the project is going to be a uh, nexus and simply copy this guy and i'm going to simply paste this guy here right and what it does it is going to pull the latest images and that's all you need to do regarding setup of uh, jenkins and nexus on your machine right so this is how powerful docker is so uh then what we're going to do we are going to do some of the two settings which are required for jenkins right and um let's do that okay uh let's wait for the container to run up so we are going to take the simple example for instance uh, of maven this is the bomb XML, and we are going to create one artifact, and we are going to push that particular artifact to that particular repository, which we are going to create shortly with the name app, and the rest of the setting you will see. So this Jenkins whole file I've just uh, added uh, before my Jenkins files here. I've not actually added the uh, environment variable. So if you navigate back to this uh, Jenkins file, you will see um, setting this uh, Maven POM version variable, which means that if we do any update to any POM.xml, for instance, if we are going to update uh, this particular version, it is going to simply uh, we don't need to any up make changes in our changes file so let's wait for a while uh, hopefully our containers are going to be ready to see if i do docker ps and what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the ip addresses so if i do go if config dot me this is my public ip address definitely in your case it's going to be a local host and what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to paste this guy here to configure our jenkins and in the next step I'm going to configure our Nexus. So simply press enter. So regarding this uh, Jenkins, uh, what you need to do, simply do uh, Docker logs of Jenkins. You will see in the log section this uh, string. 
So you need to push, uh, I mean, you need to put this guy here and simply um, do continue regarding Nexus. What we're going to do, we're going to click sign in. And as I discussed, the uh, default username, which uh, or the password we have set up for that admin is going to be admin123, right? Let's do that. And we are not going to uh, simply save it, never do that. And uh, next, enable unpracticable anonymous login and finished. And uh, click the setting guide and navigate to the repository section. One, we are going to create one repository of uh, type um, Maven hosted, okay? And we are going to name this repository is going to be app and rest of the settings are going to be uh, default. So scroll it down and simply do okay. So you see one app uh, repository has been created and we are now going to install the Jenkins plugins. Simply uh, how simple it is. Definitely it is the same stuff you need to do on your local machine. And to navigate to this URL, you need to put localhost here and for to navigate uh, in order to access your uh, local um, Nexus repository, simply you need to put the localhost here uh, and uh, type 8081. Right, so let's do that and um, let it finish. So, okay, let's try to refresh and uh, yeah. We need to wait for a while the, till the installation is completed, has been completed, right? So, So if you click this guy and the browser or contents browse app repositories, our content is going to be available here, right? So let the Jenkins finish. I'm waiting for it. So, so guys, I'm going to give the username admin password. Let's say I'm going to give this guy admin, admin, okay, Ahmad Asim. Email, you can give this, whatever you want, save and continue. So I'm going to escape it. Yeah, that is fine. Use this URL, you can use your domain name as well. Start Jenkins. So, uh, the pre uh, requisite for this guy, uh, what we need to do, uh, let me navigate to uh, this section uh, regarding the readme MD, right? So, <clears throat> we need to uh, navigate to first of all, uh, navigate to the Jenkins section, right? So, uh, manage Jenkins, right? And manage Jenkins, navigate to the global tools configuration. Click this guy, scroll it down just at the bottom, add Maven, and I'm going to add the word Maven 3. So uh, while we are adding that, uh, you can navigate to this Jenkins file. We are going to use the agent tool any and Maven 3. So simply, uh, I'm going to copy this guy just to make sure everything is right. And I'm going to uh, do the save here, right? And uh, right, so now we get back to the uh, section uh, in the readme MD and we are going to install one more plugin. So what we need to do, uh, simply copy this uh, pipeline utility steps. So copy this guy and click the Jenkins, manage Jenkins in the section manage plugins, right? and available plugins simply uh, search for this and simply um, download and install okay install without uh, restart once done what we are going to do uh, we are going to do the restart of uh, jenkins right so let's do that seems like uh, everything is okay so we are restarting so guys, our Jenkins is restarted. I managed to uh, click on Manage Jenkins, right? And navigate to the Manage Plugins. Uh, we need to install one more plugin available. Simply type uh, Nexus here, right? So we are going to simply install this plugin and uh, do install without restart, right? And uh, once it is installed, we are going to uh, go for the creation of pipeline. So, uh, right? So if I navigate, we can navigate back to uh, this section, Jenkins dashboard, right? So uh, simply create a new, item and it is going to be pipeline i'm going to say um jenkins uh, nexus integration right so let's do that and it is going to be the type pipeline and uh, right so i'm going to discard or or i mean old builds to not allow concurrent builds and simply from here i'm going to do a uh, policy here i'm going to simply provide the path of my repo so click this guy copy this url and paste it Select this guy and uh, we need to provide the URL of it. So, right, and uh, the branch is going to be main. So, if you navigate back to the section, right, um, in the Jenkins file, if you scroll it down, um, right, so let's scroll it down. In this snippet, uh, what you need to do, uh, you need to create uh, one credential as well. So, let me do that. Just wait for a while. So that's how we uh, created this snippet uh, regarding this uh, script. Let me 
navigate to this pipeline, scroll it down, uh, click this uh, pipeline syntax, right? And from here, uh, if I type and uh, click Nexus, right? And we are going to provide some of the information, like we are going to use this Nexus version, and we are going to provide the Nexus URL. URL, if you see this pipeline, is going to be like, uh, for instance, uh, if you navigate back to this section, um, repositories, click the repositories, click this guy app, and you see this is the URL. But what we are going to do, we are going to simply do uh, the update here in the syntax. In the syntax, so uh, we are going to say, as I discussed, the internal communication is going to be uh, with Nexus internally, and uh, let's provide this URL. And it says it should be just uh, without HTTP. Let's do that. And there are no credentials set up, so uh, we need to click on this add. We are going to provide the username, and uh, username is going to be uh, this guy username admin, and the password of our Nexus is going to be admin123. So uh, let's simply call this uh, Nexus, and description is Nexus. So simply add this guy and click this guy at Nexus. Uh, group ID is must. So if you navigate back to the section in the pipeline, so group ID, I've given this uh, Cloud Geeks, which is actually uh, mentioned in the form.xml. So if you click this guy, uh, this is the group ID, Cloud Geeks. So simply, um, I'm going to provide the group ID, right? So the version is going to be, um, if you navigate back to this section, um, it's going to be, let me navigate to this pipeline section here, right? So scroll it down. Okay, so uh, maven form dot version. So this is going to be the environment variable. And this version is going to be, this is the version which we have mentioned. Let's say, Okay, and repository URL is going to be, um, I'm going to uh, navigate back to, okay, I have to click, um, let me stick close that guy. So simply put it here, and I'm going to put this guy. Nexus, it is going to ask for the sign-in. Uh, in fact, I'm already signing. So this uh, vulnerability has been enabled. Anyway, click back to the repositories in the apps section. I'm going to copy this guy. So we need to update this URL, navigate back to the section, and simply um, type the name Nexus because, uh, the DNS resolution is going to be done. So we are going to add the artifact, uh, right? And uh, we can add uh, multiple artifacts here, right? So artifact ID is going to be this one app. And if I never get back to this section app, right? And type is going to be var. So, okay, plus if I leave it and file is going to be uh, by default, it is actually is going to be target slash. So, okay, let me get back to the pipeline. Click this guy and navigate back to the section. It is going to be app. This is the target set, right? So it is going to be uh, this one. App dash one dot zero dot zero dot one. So let's see if we don't have any error. Uh, let's try to generate a snippet. Actually, you see uh, this snippet has been created. So what we have done actually here, simply what you need to do, copy this guy and um, paste this guy here. So if you paste it, some of the stuff is really hard for it. So what I've done here, if you see this guy, for instance, version, uh, version is replaced by this environment variable and, and dev maven form is equal to read maven from the file, which is going to be available here, form.xml, and it is going to be uh, the updated version. So I'm, we are using the environment variable, so we don't have to do the hard coding here, right? So uh, this is the stuff I need to tell you how uh, you can generate the pipeline uh, syntax, how I've uh, generated it, and simply you need to do uh, they are, I mean, the same stuff here. So everything is available. So, um, which is actually replaced by these uh, environment variable, which is defined here. Maven form is equal to read Maven form. So we are using uh, this uh, variable, maven.form here, and version is going to be automatically replaced. So let's try to save it, and let's try to uh, build and see what's happened. So this is very important for your understanding. So that is how you can simply uh, do the snippet, and uh, that is how I've done it, and you need to update this guy, and add uh, one more thing here regarding the script, right? And the prerequisites uh, I've already shown you guys. So uh, let's see what's happened here. And we are going to click this guy. And uh, what we need to do, simply navigate uh, to the console output, right? We are going to see. It is going to simply clone this repo, right? And um, <laughs> do um, the stuff regarding the build. And simply what it does at the end of the day, once the build has been completed, it is going to simply um, build that particular stuff and uh, push to our um, Nexus repository. So it has been done. So let's see progress progress so let's scroll it down and 
scroll at the bottom. So finally, what it does, it is uploading the artifact to our Nexus. So let's see. Okay, now we get back to the section. Um, click this guy and simply click Browse, click Apps, and you will see that you see one directory has been created and this bar file has been generated. So simply, if you click this guy, you can simply download this artifact uh, on your local machine. That's it. So uh, this is the version 1.03. Uh, let's try to uh, let me update to the update here. And the update is going to be like uh, if I do a commit here, for instance, let's say my version is going to be 1.04, right? So I'm going to uh, simply do uh, type here 1.0.4 and I'm going to do the commit here. So what it does, and we're going to do the build here. So simply navigate to this section and we are going to do uh, build now again. So, right. So what it does is it is going to create uh, the new build and the updated version is going to be 1.02. So we don't have uh, done any hard coding. So this is the pipeline syntax uh, generator. So if you navigate to, to this section, simply refresh it, you will see the new version of the artifact is going to be available for download. So if you scroll it down, you see 1.04 is now available. So uh, guys, this is the understanding how you can simply do the integration between Jenkins and Nexus. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.